So in this video, we are going to learn that what is actually the most common mistake in subjective refraction. We can mistake in every step of subjective refraction. You know very well about the different steps of the subjective refraction. Like we have visual acuity, right? We have best vision sphere that how to establish the best vision sphere. What is duochrome test? You know very well. Uh, what is Jackson cross cylinder? How to use? What is the function of the Jackson cross cylinder? What is binocular balancing? These are all the steps of the subjective refraction. So now in this video we are going, we are here to learn that what is actually the most common mistake in this subjective refraction. And that most common mistake in subjective refraction is while we are establishing the best vision sphere in a myopic patient before the age of 40 years, before the press biopic age. So an optometrist or a good optometrist must be very very careful while he or she is establishing the best vision sphere or establishing the sphere in a myopic patient before the 40 years of age right for example we are going to prove that how this mistake is most common mistake in subjective refraction suppose this is your beautiful eye this is cornea this is lens right and the patient is myopic right so in a myopic patient you know very well that the plus power of the eye is more than the normal you know that the normal power the more normal dioptric power of the eye is 58 diopters my marker is angry right so the total dioptric power of the eye is 58 diopters right cornea contribute 43 diopters normally and lens contribute 15 diopters right so this is the total power of the eye and in a myopic patient you know that plus power is increased which is which can be due to the cornea the increased curvature of the cornea or increased curvature of the crystalline lens or the increased axial length of the eyeball right so the reason could be cornea or the lens or the increased antero posterior length of the eyeball these three reasons can cause myopia right so in myopia because the plus power is increased is more than normal right so the light rays which are traveling through the eye will focus in front of the retina because we have crystalline lens which is in plus power plus 15 we have cornea which is in plus power plus 43 both of these lenses are in plus form right so when plus power will increased the property of the plus power is it always converged the light rays right so the light rays will converge because the power of the cornea or the lens or the both is increased so due to increased in the plus power the light rays are focused the light rays are more converged so the light rays will focused in front of the retina this is our retina right so light rays are converged in front of the retina this is called myopia suppose this is our patient and this patient is here in our clinic to refract to, for the clinical refraction and we are prescribing minus 2 dioptric sphere minus 2 concave lenses and after prescribing minus 2 concave lenses suppose we are establishing the best vision sphere first of all we establish minus 0 0.50 the light rays will go near to the retina right then we prescribe minus 1 the light rays will go further towards the retina then 1.5 the light rays will go further towards the retina and finally we prescribe minus 2 and the light rays are now on the sensitive layer of the retina and our myopia is corrected right for example remember one thing that as we are increasing our minus power in our patient he will appreciate the Snellen chart the optotypes on the Snellen chart right as we are I am, I am repeating my sentence that as we are increasing our minus power right as we are increasing our minus power our patient will appreciate the optotypes on the Snellen chart right so I will tell you about the reason suppose we increased 2.5 right our patient is correctly myopic 
and myopia is of minus 2 diopter we have prescribed minus 2 to the patient and the light rays of the patient are on the sensitive layer of the retina which is our demand but mistakenly we prescribe minus 2.5 it means 0.5 more than the normal power right and then the light rays will go beyond the retina or behind the retina here right and when the light rays are here behind the retina now our patient is our patient would be not satisfied but as you know that as i have said that uh, the common mistake is we are prescribing minus power we always make a mistake while we are prescribing minus power minus spherical power to our patient right so how can we make a mistake for example as we have discussed the patient is of minus 2 myop but we have mistakenly prescribed minus 2.5 0.5 more than the normal power right so the light rays are now behind the retina so we have to put these light which are behind the retina we have to put these light rays on the sensitive layer of the retina and there is one process is there in the patient's eye which is called accommodation so if the light rays are behind the retina the lens has ability to accommodate what is accommodation the increase in the plus power of the crystalline lens so the lens has the ability to increase the plus power right so the lens will accommodate lens will increase its plus power when the power of the plus will increased right then you know that the plus power has ability to converge the light rays right so when the lens will increase its plus power the light rays which are diverging behind the retina they will converge towards the retina and the light rays will again go to the retina but the problem is our patient is accommodation accommodating right and you know that this is rule when we are prescribing plus spherical minus spherical plus cylinder minus cylinder while we are prescribing any of the power to the patient's eye accommodation should be at rest this is the rule you have to keep it in mind very carefully that while we are, uh, are correcting our myopia while we are correcting our hypermetropia while we are correcting our astigmatism you have to keep it in mind that the accommodation of the patient should be at zero should be at rest right but in this case the patient is accommodating because mistakenly we have increased our minus power we have to prescribe minus 2 but we are prescribing minus 2.5 so minus power is increasing in the patient's eye right so as minus power is increasing and light as uh, light rays are going behind the retina so by putting the light rays on the sensitive layer of the retina we have to increase the plus power and there is option in the eye which is accommodation and that accommodation can increase the plus power to neutralize that minus power right as we have mistakenly increasing the minus power the accommodation in contrast will increase the plus power right to neutralize so the light rays which are behind the retina accommodate accommodation will occur and plus power will increased in the competition of the minus power and the light rays will go toward the retina or on the sensitive layer of the retina so as the light rays are going on the sensitive layer of the retina the patient will face no any complaint and patient will say that the optotypes on the Snellen chart are very clear but problem is that patient is using his or her accommodation and as I said that there should be no accommodation while we are prescribing the minus lenses or the plus lenses right so we have to be very very careful while we are prescribing minus lenses right we always prescribe under correct minus power to our patient so this is the major mistake you have to be very careful if you are if you are if you are a good optometrist if you want to be a good optometrist you have to be very careful while you are dealing with a myopic patient right that's why i always say optometry always says i must say that in subjective refraction we have to prescribe maximum plus and minimum minus and if you want to know that why we have to prescribe maximum plus and minimum minus you can watch this video